So Scorpio, you know, there's certain things that this person is thinking around this connection and around you, um, which you're not privy to. You're not privy to at all. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly, exactly what's going on. Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for November. Gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamp. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to just lay these cards Okay, so just give a moment to take these in and I'll be back. Here, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so there's there's been some form of disruption in this, um, in this connection, in this relationship. Um, some form of mishap or something that's happened which has caused you guys to... I would say more so throw a spanner in your, um, is that, throw a spanner in your woodworks? Is that, is that, that's, that's the saying, isn't it? Yeah, it's more of like a, 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 a blip. I say a blip simply because, you know, this person has some form of idea that you are entertaining or have someone else or, you know, freeze a crowd type of thing. Um, I don't feel like... That's the huge challenge. I feel like the challenge is that complied with, um, comp 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 compiled, there you go, compiled with the fact that this person feels, feels like they lack something. There's something that they lack. I feel like it's more to do with their resources or their financial situation at this time. There's a lack around that for that, for them. And that doesn't really help. It doesn't mean that they're not thinking about, you know, emotional fulfillment with you. But I feel like this plays a part in terms of just what you're experiencing because there is love there for you. You're showing up as the ace of um one second, guys. Let me just press that. You're showing up as the ace of cups. So there's emotions there, there's feelings there, warm, fuzzy feelings, I would say. And you know, I feel like you've come to some form of calming within your mind, your thoughts around this situation or around them. I feel like this is yeah, I don't feel like this disruption has caused you to think of them in any other way because your focus is very much moving into a place where you're thinking about this new journey, this new chapter, this new um, adventure that you'll be barking on or that you're thinking about barking on with this person. But very protective of this as well. There's a, a protectiveness around this for you. Um, I feel like the difficulty or challenge when it comes to this situation Scorpio is the fact that this person isn't it's not to say they're not moving ahead they're moving forward I want to clarify that just for a second moving forward but they're moving forward blindly there's a blind element to that something that they're refusing to see or refusing to um and I feel like it's tying back to this three of of, of cups there's something around that Scorpio because as much as they're 
Yeah. Something around their intuition is they're getting some insight around a third person or some form of third energy or yeah, do you see that? Still moving ahead though, willing to take a risk on something that they're refusing to pay attention to so much, which is quite interesting. Um, as much as they're getting insight around that. As much as they're getting insight around that. Yeah, you're going for a change. You're going for a change. Um, and and it's it's an, it's in order for you to advance emotionally in some way, Scorpio, with the, with the nine of Pentacles. There's a shift that you're going through, or change um, that you're feeling as well. Some of you could be feeling that, and you know the idea. And I feel like you're in that mix now, anyway, definitely. But the idea is is you're moving into a place where there's that emotional happiness when it comes to this person, when it comes to this situation. Something that you're you're willing to hold on to, move through any challenge that occurs, moving forward, regardless of the blip. And that's why I call it a blip. I don't feel like it's there to dismantle or take you both off this path, um, Scorpio. What worries or concerns me is the fact that, again, it's this moving ahead not wanting to pay attention to um, information that they know around or what they feel they know around a third person or other people that you could be entertaining or that you could, you know, that type of thing, but still willing to take a risk on it. Think, thinking and feeling that it will provide some form of... <sighs> Stress, worry, anxiety, yeah, and what I'm wanting to have some of all, have some form of idea if I can speak, have some form of idea on how to move around that, how to, yeah, move, how to handle that, how to deal with that. I feel like this this situation needs a conversation. This person has got some things on their mind in terms of just what you're doing, you know, um, and. You know, it adds to this holding back as well, them having some form of lack, like I said, financial or otherwise, but definitely also slightly holding back as well. Usually at this point of the reading, we'll move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to, but I will be implementing that in December, guys, so look out for that, being snowed under, as you guys know. But um, yeah, yeah. I feel like, like I said, as it stands, a conversation is needed. A conversation is needed around you know, whether you're dating other people, entertaining or whatever the case may be when it comes to how they're seeing you. Not sure you're privy to that though. Not sure you're privy to that at all, in fact, Scorpio. So um, in terms of just how they're thinking. But hopefully this gave me some form of clarity. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.